Nutrition. Hey you YouTube, Dark Nutrition84 here and welcome to my first common charity Yu-Gi-Oh! pre-tournament vlog. Um, so yeah, that's happening later on. Uh, I'm pretty excited and um, well, the Melfi deck is ready. Um, rather annoyingly, those cards didn't arrive in time, so I've had to put stuff in to replace them, which is absolutely fine. Um, but at least I have a playable deck, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, um, I'm not quite sure what a lot of people will be playing. Um, apparently Jude is going to play Melfi's as well, and Weber's 5 is going to be playing Odd Eyes. Um, now I have no idea if Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon will come up. Because um, yeah, it does have a common printing apparently, but yeah, he said that the easy way is to bring it out. Um, can't be played. Um, I actually can't remember if Odd Eyes Fusion has a common printing or not. I'm not sure. Otherwise, he might use Polymerization if he does play it, or maybe he just won't play it at all. Um, of course, if it does come up, that's going to be an issue. Um, uh, Hopefully I can play around it. Um, I mean, I have some ways to stop it in its tracks, but whether or not I see those ways is another story. Um, now I have seen some deck lists of examples of cards that uh, of decks that could come up. Um, one of which was Macro, which is something else I'm not looking forward to. I hope that doesn't come up. I can't stand that deck, as you know. Um, of course, I've been trying to think whether or not it would hurt Melfi's. Um, but it, I feel like it would stop Rescue Cat's effect going off, um, which might be an issue. But other than that... I don't know. But again, I'm prepared for it if it does come up, but other than that, I'm not sure what to expect. Um, of course, that being said, I have sort of prepared something for any... Um, for Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, Macro, and any possible... OTK decks that will come up. Um, so I've got two copies of Chaos Hunter, two copies of Battle Fader, two copies of Swift Scarecrow, two copies of Volcanic Queen because I don't have any common kaijus. Um, I think Humongous is a common. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that did come in the Trap Trick Structure deck, so maybe I can look into getting that. Called by the Grave, three Prohibitions, and three copies of Imperial Iron Wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> and I will do a deck pro for it profile for this deck after the tournament. Um, oh, and by the way, um, if you do see any hollow or rare cards pop up, um, and it means that you know, some of us weren't able to get hold of common cards, uh, cards in a common printing. You would think common cards would be easier to get, but um, you'd be surprised. Um, 
happen, but it's okay though, because we're going by a rule where as long as a card has a common printing, it can be played, like Kalantosa, for instance. Um, uh, yeah, anything with a common printing is legal, um, whereas obviously if something doesn't have a common printing, like you know, the Nightmare Links, Zeus, Infinite Impermanence, you know, that's not allowed. Um, I know it's typically preferred to have everything in common, but, um, but that only applies to like more official events, whereas um, you know, locals can let it slide. Um, you know, having uh, holland cards that do have a common printing, that is. Um, so, yeah, just bear that in mind. Um, and, yeah, that's really all there is to say. Um, I'm not sure how well I'll do, but I'll do the best I can. And um, this actually gives me another opportunity to get pitted against Jude and um, you know, reinstate my goal of trying to defeat him in a match. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll get a Milfy Mirror match. Um, plus he even said himself that um, he wants to see a common charity games filmed, so, um, you know, as the resident tournament cameraman, I am happy to oblige. So yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll enjoy the games and um, stay tuned for those games. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Retrition YouTube channel.